Hi, Salaam Alaikum and welcome. My name is Omar al-Din and on the five year anniversary of my calligraphy business, I am compelled to share my story with you in hopes that I can inspire other artists who are just beginning their journey in life. My journey with Arabic calligraphy started at the age of seven when I started learning the art under the highly esteemed Ustad Ahmad Adil in Saudi Arabia. As I grew up, I saw the art of Arabic calligraphy as no more than a mere hobby, a means to hone a skill, and a means to make humble little gifts for family and friends. After all, who in their wildest dreams thinks that they can make a living out of things like origami or paper mache animals? Which by the way, are very different from calligraphy, but it is so easy to classify all these things under the category of hobbies. Like most other people, I envisioned my future in the corporate world. I went to university and graduated, specializing in accounting, worked to get a CPA designation, and began working at a major Canadian financial institution as a strategic sourcing manager. It was a dream come true for any graduate, except that it wasn't. And this grand illusion wasn't realized until I was sitting there behind an enclosed cubicle for eight hours a day, five days a week, just hoping that it would be Friday night soon. In 2011, as I was sitting at work one day and just going through my personal emails, I bumped into one that caught my eye about some distant acquaintance who saw my calligraphy work on someone's wall. But instead of wanting me to make them something, wanted me to direct them to a resource where they can learn the art of Arabic calligraphy for themselves. And so I started Googling for these resources, knowing that the art is so highly admired by everyone. And since it is a major highlight in the decor of any mosque, there should be countless resources available to learn the art. To my dismal surprise, I couldn't find anything worth sharing. A couple of broken pieces here and there, on various websites, some brief books, but in Arabic. I searched for days, but besides finding beautiful galleries of Arabic calligraphy on the internet, I couldn't find a single viable resource that I could reference back to this person who had reached out to me for guidance. And this is the moment where I had an epiphany or a moment of inspiration. And I asked myself, if there are no resources out there, well, why don't I teach it myself? And that's where it all began. I held my first Arabic calligraphy six week program in the fall of 2011 and things never slowed down for me since. Since then, I've held the class every three months and the seats have been booked out within days of the course being published. In 2013, I published my first book, which also happens to be the first book in English that teaches the art of Arabic calligraphy in a truly comprehensive manner. In 2014, due to popular demand, I started putting together videos that would act as supplement to my in-class students. Once these videos were completed, I was introduced to Udemy by a friend and thought there was no harm in turning these videos into a full-fledged online course. Um, and this way, I can spread the light across the globe and teach the art in a way that it has never been taught before. The course practically caught fire the day it was published, with nearly 200 students joining in the first month alone. Today, the course has just under 3,000 students from 84 different countries and boasts over 100 five-star reviews. I would have never imagined that what started as a number of supplemental videos for my in-class students would in turn provide the kind of passive or recurring income that it does. Uh, I felt that this is what the world needed and that I have a much higher purpose than negotiating prices uh, and contracts for the bank. My course got me worldwide recognition and soon I was being invited from different cities and different countries to hold workshops there. Locally, I was invited 
to Muslim Fest, which is one of the biggest Islamic festivals in Canada, uh, to hold workshops and perform some of my work live on stage. And I had the honor of sharing the stage with the likes of Haji Noordin. Somewhere along the journey, I started taking on commission work to design some of the most iconic and beautiful mosques in North America, including Masjid al-Rahman in New York City, which after my work is being dubbed as one of the most beautiful mosques in NYC. As the demand for my work skyrocketed, I came to the point where time became a true scarcity for me, and I had to make a choice and give up either my full-time job or my passion for calligraphy, because the third time consumer for me was not up for negotiation, and that's family time. A lot of people advised me that it isn't wise to give up my full-time job, especially in a very economically turbulent time. But the fact of the matter is that I had begun to frankly do a really crappy job at both my full-time work and I wasn't able to give enough time to my calligraphy students. Since both these things truly deserved my full undivided attention, it just wasn't fair to go on life keeping both of these things hand in hand. In 2015, I took the epic leap of faith and left my full-time work to pursue my passion. I'm finally able to put all my efforts into spreading the beauty of Arabic calligraphy across the world. What do I have coming up in the near future? At the time this video is being filmed, I'm currently working on my second book, an in-depth guide to the Tholoth script, a series of children's books to start learning calligraphy at an early age and in a stepwise process. And I'm also in process of developing further online courses. I also plan on starting a podcast, not just for calligraphy artists, but fine artists in general where they can learn and share keys to success and see what works for certain folks and what doesn't work for others. I am extremely excited to have you join me on this epic journey and stay tuned for further updates.